Hi everybody, it's Dr. Cole. Today we're going to talk about anti-aging 101 and we're going to give you three easy ways for you to stay young and stay healthy. Well, the research is clear. Um, research uh, like the Okinawa study has shown definitively that there is no reason why we cannot live 80 to 100 disease-free abundant years on this earth. And there's other studies like the Danish twin studies that showed only actually less than 10% of how long you live is dictated by our genetics. So that means over 90% of it is of how long we live. 90% of how long we live is determined by the choices we make in this life. So let's talk about three ways for us to increase our health, increase our youth, and live that abundant life that we are capable of doing. Number one, we need to increase our human growth growth hormone levels naturally. So one way to do that, and the reason why we want to do that is because it's a very strong anti-aging, fat-burning hormone that we can raise naturally in our body. And one way to do that is through something called burst training or high-intensity interval training. There's a lot of research and there's a lot of buzz about this because of what it's been shown in the scientific literature to do with increasing your human growth hormone levels. So there's many ways to do burst training, but the way that I do it in my, in my daily uh, activities is that I warm up three to five minutes and then for 30 to 60 seconds, I run 90% of what I can do, 90% of my capacity. So I'll do that for 30 to 60 seconds and then I rest for two to three minutes. I'll walk or jog lightly and then I burst again 90% of my capacity for 30 to 60 seconds. You can do that from three to five times typically, but some research says you can go up to 10 times. Push yourself. Obviously, it's going to be dependent on you and your, your uh, fitness level. But this has been shown to increase your human growth hormone level, your fat-burning, anti-aging hormone in your body uh, tons and tons of times. So you're able to really get the maximum amount of benefits in a short period of time because mainly you can get this done in about 15 to 15 minutes to a half an hour, so it's really convenient, it's really easy to do, there's no excuse why most people cannot do this. Um, and then the, the way to enhance the anti-aging, the fat burning mechanisms, pathways in your body even more is actually to do it in the morning on an empty stomach and wait one to two hours afterwards to eat. That's going to spike your human growth hormone naturally even more. And then remember to do that every other day, not every day, because those anti-aging, those fat burning hormones are actually staying elevated in your body throughout the next, the day you did the exercise and the day after. So tip number one to stay young and to stay healthy is to increase your human growth hormone levels and an effective way to do it naturally is through burst training or high, or high intensity interval training or HIT training. Um, number two, we need to increase our glutathione levels. Glutathione is the most potent antioxidant, anti-aging, pro-healing antioxidant that our body produces. It's in every cell of our body and research shows that 80% of the population is depleted in glutathione levels. Glutathione is why you do not get cancer. So low glutathione levels have been linked to a lot of chronic diseases, accelerated aging, cancer, diabetes, dementia, Alzheimer's, the list goes on and on, chronic inflammatory diseases and accelerated aging. So uh, uh, just another word on glutathione, there it's thousands of times more potent as far as its healing properties than, than blueberries and acai and other uh, you know, noted fruit foods that have high antioxidant levels. Glutathione has way more high ORAC levels or antioxidant levels uh, in it. So what we need to do is get glutathione and a way to do that is eating whole foods such as avocado, asparagus, garlic, even grass-fed beef, eggs, all have glutathione in it. And another way to do it effectively is through a product that, that I use every day. It's, it's called G-Cell. You can see it right here. Um, I If you shoot me an, an email, a message on drwillcole.com, you can set up a consultation and see if this would be right for you. This is what I use every day, as well as eating whole foods to get my glutathione levels as high as they can be to, to again, increase health, to increase anti-aging properties in the body. And number three tip to stay young and to stay healthy is we need to stay off of processed sugars and processed grains. Um, 
this is probably the hardest step for most people and, and definitely for the patients that I see around the country in my virtual clinic it's very hard for people to do because sugar is so addicting and it's so it's it, it, people are hooked on it so it doesn't matter if it's sugar in the in the junk food that we eat or it's it's a lot of grains right so our blood sugar is going to spike whether we're drinking a soft drink or whether we're eating even whole wheat bread so we need to stay off of the processed grains mainly the gluten containing grains because of the inflammatory nature that they bring in the body and they wreak havoc in the body so we need to really give alternatives for, for people um, to really decrease this infl inflammatory process that these foods bring. So one way to do it is instead of having soft drinks, this soft drink that I drink, it's called, it's called Zevia. It tastes just like your Coke and your Pepsi, only it's sweetened with Stevia. So it's a better alternative for patients. It tastes really good and you can pick that up at your local health food store. And another way to do it, instead of using wheat flour, you can use coconut flour, almond flour, gluten-free grains like those two are fantastic cooking alternatives for um, for someone that wants to stay young and stay healthy um, but anyways the, these gluten containing grains these processed grains sugars they spike insulin they spike leptin in your body which is you know synchronon to inflammatory disease to chronic disease such as heart disease diabetes high cholesterol to accelerated aging we need to get our insulin levels down we need to get our leptin levels down and we're only going to do it if we avoid these foods so I gave you three tips guys easy to do and replay the video if you want to really get the most out of it to really see how you can stay young stay healthy and live that vibrant life that we are capable of doing thanks so much